Last month, Iraq's central government seized control of disputed territory, oil, and vital border crossings from the Kurds in the north in just a matter of days, ushering in a new phase of politics with international players vying for influence. Meanwhile, the Kurdish region is reeling from its losses. For three years, Kurdish Peshmerga fighters controlled oil fields like this one in Iraq's disputed territories. They moved in when Iraqi forces fled an ISIS offensive approaching the area. But one month ago, after a Kurdish referendum vote Baghdad deemed illegal, central government troops returned. They were prepared for a tough battle to take it back. But instead, soldiers, including Saif Hatim, swept in without a fight. <laughs> Under a deal between the central government and a Kurdish faction opposed to then-President Masoud Barzani, many Peshmerga fighters withdrew before the offensive even began. Before the latest conflict, oil fields in the disputed territories were pumping out some 550,000 barrels of oil daily. Iraqi troops now also control the pipeline and border crossing, which runs through the Kurdish region and into the Turkish port of Jehan. It means that hundreds of millions of dollars in profits from the region's oil exports are now entirely under Baghdad's control leaving the Kurdish region dealing with the sudden loss of resources, which had been vital in its push for independence. In nearby Kurdish-held towns and cities, including Kirkuk, some Peshmerga did put up a fight. And Iraqi soldiers didn't confront them alone. They had help from the PMU, a coalition of predominantly Shia militia fighters who were accused by Kurds and the US of being an instrument of Iran. OK, where are we Baghdad, the the PMU's role in this offensive, as well as the operation to drive ISIS out of Iraq, helped make the group and its leaders a major force in the country. It's left the US red-faced. On one hand, it's been publicly pursuing a hardline approach against the Iranian regime, but on the other hand, the US supported Baghdad over the Kurds during the referendum vote, and that's allowed Iran to increase its influence in the region. Abu Mustafa al-Imami is the deputy commander of the PMU in northern Iraq. He denies allegations of foreign meddling in the conflict. Despite playing down Iran's influence, Al Imami echoed the words of Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khomeini, who claimed that Israel and the US would benefit from Kurdish independence. شلون هسه العلاقه السياسيه بينكم وبين الاكراد والبشمركه؟ ما عندنا اي مشكله مع الاخوه الكرد ولكن هناك من يقف وراء مجموعه من الاكراد السهاينه الدول الغربيه وهم اصبحوا يعني اداه لهؤلاء فينفذون المخططات الاعداء مخططات الخارجين عن القانون هم خرجوا عن القانون. The city of Kirkuk is ethnically diverse. Kurdish, Arab and Turkmen residents continue to work side by side. But thousands of Kurds who live in Kirkuk and other disputed territories said that the arrival of Shia militia in their Sunni Kurdish neighborhoods and the threat of sectarian fighting forced them to flee. Some are now living in half-built homes in the Kurdish capital, Erbil. Parwin, her husband Adnan and their three children left Kirkuk when Iraqi forces moved in. They don't know when or if they'll be able to return. So this is where you're sleeping? Yes. With three children? Yes. 
او خوار نکم او جلب نکم نه او هم مسیر و تو سامانه ما جیر هستی چی کن عدد ها بیا گریانم تی بکر کن حتی تو اینو کت حق بیا گر سحش حق بگ عرب کن لجر علی کردستان رقص کن بالام کرد لجر علی ایران چه وسیت و بو بو او این شاولاتین یا مشاولاتین like Parwin, many Kurds in Erbil and other Kurdish cities are angry. Not only at the political crisis, but also at their long-standing US allies for not intervening to stop the Kirkuk offensive. Shit!